Hello guys, welcome back to Coding with AJT, and in this video, I will be making lose a line. And this is the last function of Tetris. In the last video, we made list 2 and r-l. So, we'll get started. In lose a line, there are multiple if statements. Each if statement represents one line. So once that one line is full, then it'll disappear. So we'll start making those if statements. So the if statements look like this. If a b11 dot text equals zero and b12 dot text equals zero and b13 dot text equals zero and we'll do that all the way to b20 so b11 is right here b20 is on the other side and there you go all the way to b20 then we want to do that for every single line. I will skip ahead until I do that, but it's basically B B21 all the way to B30, B31 all the way to B40, B51 all the way to B60, and it will continue on until it gets to B141 to B150. When you're done, it should look like this. So everything has its stuff. All the lines are B141 all the way to B150, and it's every single line. Then underneath it, we are going to have a handler. So a handler delays a time. And we're going to delay code, which will take away the line itself. So, the if statements above will tell us, and will take away the line, and the handle will bring the line down. So, the lines on top of it will be brought down by the handle. So, we'll have handle. Handle dot post way by five hundred milliseconds, and then we'll have point alley underneath dot text equals points all time points so what this does is it tells us how many points we have and using this we put it in right here which will automatically update so it can tell us how many points we have after we do it after that happens, we're going to go into the first if statement. Inside the first if statement, it will tell us we'll write to tell the CPU B11 dot set background resource void dot drawable dot Great. And this will change B11 to gray after it does it. So it will make it look gray like it's gone. And you'll do that for all the, the numbers in the line. So it should look like this after you do it. B11 to B19, all the numbers in the if statement to that. After you do that, we have to make the text inside of it 
nothing. So to do that, we have the text inside of it. Would for example be e eleven dot text equal nothing. That's what it would look like. B eleven dot text equals nothing. And you want that and you want to do that to all of the numbers or text. Then we'll have points plus and equal one hundred. So each line that's taken away is one hundred points. We have lines equal to So this tells us which line was was um, taken or you lost or you so that's what it should look like and when you're done with it you'll do that with every single else the other lines as well so I'll come back after I finish it after you're done with that it should all look like this all the numbers, all the text would be that correctly. Then we can close it so the screen looks easier to see. And so we can program it. The next one. Next we're going to go into the post delay. So in the post delay, In the post delay, we have the code inside, which will tell us which line was which. So the first thing we're going to do is type in each. If Lines equal 15. 15 is the bottom one. So line 15. Line equal 15. And you have to make sure you change lines. So it correctly. Like the bottom one's 15. The top one's 2. And if you don't, this handle or, or this post delay will be wrong when you type this in. If lines equals... 15, then we, and then we're going to do that with the rest of the line. So line equals 15, and we're going to keep going all the way to. All the way to 2, which is the line that we did for the first one. So we'll go up, say if lines equal 15, lines equal 14, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And the order we do this, the order where we have 15 going down is very important. So th when we do that, and we're going to change it. So lines equal 15. If there's nothing there, then we're going to go down to lines equal 14. And we check all of them. So we have. And that's the if statements. Now we'll write the code in each one. So we'll start with. If statement lines equal two. So if, if statement lines equal two, we have nothing. Which is really good. Easy. Lines equal three, we have lines equal two. Okay. Lines equal four, we have if. We're going to use this one. If B31 
equals nothing. So other than having zeros, we'll have nothing. Zero, nothing. We'll have zeros and we'll have nothing. Place all. Uh, okay. Zero is equal to nothing. Place all. That's what it should look like. And inside of this, we'll have, we have to change a ton. Inside of this, we'll have B1, B1 dot text equals B21 dot text. B32 dot text equals B22. So it just flips. And you can pause at this point to change it or to type this in. Then B31 would then equals the text that it changed into to the background. So for take if 31 dot text is blank, then It'll change it so 21 would change to b 31 dot text 31 dot background with b b 21 dot background and that's what it should look like then b 21 all of them should be gray so so they should all be Right. And we'll go underneath this and make it great. After that, B21 all the way to B30 would be empty. And that's what line equal 4 equals. And outside of that if statement, would I have lines equal three? So right now, other than writing all that code in, we're gonna write down so in line five we have lines equal four, so we'll remember it as this line sequel four going down is important and we want it to go to the right. So that'd be 14, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4. So in 5 we have if If B B forty one all the way to B fifty and inside of it we will change it to B forty one all the way to B forty. So they see B five to B four. So B forty one all the way to B thirty one. B thirty one which is I and this is what we're changing it into. I'll then put in the code for this. We'll change the background. Then we'll change background. Then we change change background. Then we change the color to gray. And we make the text equal zero. Then we're gonna to go to line six. It's if B fifty one all the way to B sixty. Out of this, we'll have B fifty one to B to B fifty one to B sixty to B forty one to B fifty. Okay. Then the background will change and B41 to B50's background 
would be turned to gray. Then we'll continue on and go to line 7. And line 7 is if B31, B31 If B31 to B40, and it will change to 21 to 30. Then we'll have B41 to B50, change to 31 to another one. And it will change, keep changing like that. So, right now, I'm going to type in all the code, and I'm going to scroll down, and you guys can pause at the parts you need. So, this is what the code looks like when it's done. So, I'll scroll down slowly, then I'll show you the app. So, this is what it looks like. We're now on lines 10, lines 9, lines 8, lines 7, lines 6 to 2. I showed you how to do it, but I still scroll down it. And that's what it should look like. When it's run, this is what the game should look like after you program it correctly. So it finished running and this is what the final product should look like after doing all the code. When we hit play, we'll go and play the game like normal. We're playing it, and then when we lose a line, boom, all the pieces come down. And that's what the game looks like. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!